Hi, this is Sarah from American Color Imaging, and this video is to show you how to use packages in My ACI. If you go to My ACI, this is most often used in the sports and events, and you can click on Favorites, which is where your packages are saved. So if you click Favorites, you'll see there is a Favorites tab at the top. This is a group, and that Favorites tab cannot be removed. It's a default, so it will always be there. You're welcome to use it if you need to. You don't have to. You can create your own tabs if you like, which I'm going to do, and I have already done on a dance. So I'm going to hit the plus sign here and add a new group, and I'm going to call it Sports. And I'm going to spell that incorrectly so I can show you how to use your settings. The settings is the gear over here. It's a drop down. You can rename a favorite and a favorite is what they classify a package. So if you have a package, for instance, dance package one, I can rename that favorite because I've selected it. It's highlighted. I can name it whatever I want. I'm not going to rename this one, so I'm going to cancel that. But I can also um, delete a favorite too. So if I have it selected, I can hit delete favorite. Are you sure you want to remove? No, I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to my sports and I can again rename the group because that's what these tabs are up here is a group. And I'm going to fix that and hit enter and you can see it populates back up here. If I wanted to remove that, I just have it uh, selected so that it's the one that is showing and I can delete the group and you'll see it disappears. I'm going to go ahead and put it back here though. Enter and then you're going to start creating your packages. So I'm going to minimize my favorites and I'm going to go to my a la carte menu. I'm just going to make simplistic packages for the purpose of this video. So to do that I've got an 8x10 selected uh, but I can't make a package yet because I haven't turned on my package option. So if I click on the package options here, this little three ply stack, it's going to turn dark gray. You'll see some options here for zooming and whatnot. And that's how you know that your package options are on. So light gray, no option show. That's off. Dark gray, options are showing. It's turned on. So I have an 8x10 selected as my first item. So I click on my first item. And any additional item, I'm going to click, hold, and drag over. So now I've got a 5x7. And I'm going to grab a few other items and drag over. You can click on the blue cross bars here and be able to maneuver them around in any such way that you like. And I'm just going to call that quits there. And I'm going to go to my favorites because I want to save this package. I'm going to go to sports. And then the heart with the plus sign is where I can name this favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to put package A, enter and you'll see it populates right here. Well, if I need to change the quantity of these items, you can see right now it says 8x10, quantity 1, 5x7, quantity 1, and, and so on. Or if you put your mouse over the package, it'll also show that information. So I need to have different quantities. My 5x7s are a quantity of 4, so I'm going to do 4. And my 3x5s will do 2. 2x3 two wallets will do 2 of those. I'm going to go back to my package A. And you don't want to change the quantity of your package here. You'll probably want to leave that as 1. Uh, that way everybody gets a default of 1 when you're selecting that item. Since I've made those changes to my packages, you'll see that this has highlighted pink over here with the heart and the arrow. That is to save the changes that you've just made to that favorite item. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to minimize my favorites by clicking favorites. You'll see again there light gray is minimizing, dark gray is maximizing. And I'm going to go to my next item here. So I'm going on to package B. I'm going to click on an item and then I'm going to drag over whatever other items are in there. And when I'm done I'll go to favorites, sports, heart with the plus sign to add that package, package B, enter. It's now saved. Click on B drop down to change however many of each item that you need. Go back to your package B and save that. And if you don't have to change any quantities, that's fine. It'll save it with a quantity of one as a default. Um, but the next thing we want to do is show you how to do a single image item. So for instance, I have a package that is just one eight by 10. 
Going to my favorites, sports. I'm going to name this package. We'll call this package one. Enter. Prompts me, do you want to save as a package? Yes, I do. I'm going to click on that. And I'll tell you in a second why I want to save that as a package because I'm going to go back, grab another item, save a secondary package here, and we'll call this one package two. Enter. And it prompts again because it's a single image. I'm going to save as single. And this will show you the difference there. You can see that my 8 by 10 I called package 1. If I put my mouse over it, oh, I clicked on it. If you put your mouse over it, it says 8 by 10 quantity 1. When it's highlighted, you can put your mouse in the center. You'll see 8 by 10 quantity 1. Since I made a package 2, but I didn't call it a package, um, I saved it as a single item instead. When I put my mouse over it, it says package 2, quantity 1. Well, what size did I choose? I don't remember. If I put my mouse in the center after choosing it, you can see there again, package 2, quantity 1. So it doesn't tell you what size it is. So for the convenience of knowing what's in your package, it's best to save it as a package. So I'm going to go ahead and remove package 2 because I don't want that in there. So I'm going to highlight it, click delete favorite in my settings. Yes, I do want to delete that. Now I'm going to go back, I'm going to grab my 5 by 7 go to my favorites, sports, and we're going to put that package 2 back in there. So enter, and yes, save as package. So now you can see when I put my mouse, 5 by 7 1 up, quantity 1. And when I select it and put my mouse over here, 5 by 7 1 up, quantity 1. That's exactly what you want to see. So that would be how you can do your single items. That's also how you can check to see what's in your package, just in case you're wondering if you forgot to put something in there. You can double check it there. And let's go to um, showing how to see the quantities in the cart screen. So when you grab a package, I'm going to go to my dance packages because I've completed those packages. I'm going to grab an A and drag my image in. I'm going to turn that option off because I'm now ordering. I don't need to edit my packages, so I'm turning that off. So I've got my image in here, and I'm going to add to order. I'm going to go to view cart, and you can see here that I've got package A, package A quantity. So here's where I can change the quantity um, for this package 2. If I accidentally ordered 1 and I need 2, I can hit 2 enter, and now you can see that the price is adjusted for 2 of package A. The items inside of it have also adjusted for 2 of package A. If I go 1 enter, you'll see it adjust back. You cannot change the quantity of each of the items inside the package once it's been added to the order. So if this person ordered an 8 by 10, if she needed two 8 by 10s and everything else is the same, you're going to need to also go back to your product screen and grab your 8 by 10. I believe that is my package one. So I'm going to put her image in, add to order, go to the cart. So now I've got my package A with a 1 8 by 10 and I have her as a separate 8 by 10. And the reason that you would want to um, do this consecutively by ordering the same person and then moving on to the next person, so you've got all of this person and then the next person is ordered, is if you're going to have us package them, we've got poly bags, which are a clear uh, plastic type bag, and then we have white window envelopes. And we can package your prints in these envelopes or poly bags as long as everything is ordered consecutively. So, for instance, uh, we can package all of her stuff together because it's ordered in a row. But if you ordered her stuff here, and then you ordered a bunch of other people, and then on down the line, you remembered you had to order that extra 8 by 10 for her. So I'm going to just drop that down. Now, this is all going to get packaged together here. And then they're going to go to this package. Well, later on, they're going to see that you have an 8 by 10 here. She's going to get a separate package because she wasn't put with the rest of her stuff. It, that's just the way that it works, so just make sure to order it consecutively there. I'm going to go ahead and clear this cart here real quick and explain the paper types and the um, template options. So I'm going to go ahead and remove her image. Again, I just go to package A because that's got multiple prints in there. And in the options palette you can see e-surface and metallic paper. If your option is turned off, and you have your image in, you can certainly change that here and have metallic or the standard e-surface. 
on whichever sizes you want. Now if you have a quantity of four on your five by sevens and you choose metallic, all four of your five by sevens are going to be metallic. So just make sure it's consistent with what you need. Um, but if you have your package option turned on when you do that and you select metallic, it's going to put M8 by 10 quantity one. That is going to be your package. So you wanna make sure that everything is consistent with what you offer. Now the next thing is your links and um, the red circle to minimize, or not minimize, but reduce an item from a package. So for instance, if I go to my sports here and I grab a package A, if I didn't mean to have this two by three eight up here, what I can do is just hit that minus and it's going to want me to remove that. Yes, I do. And you can see it's now adjusted. My package A automatically has removed that item. It's no longer a part of it. And go back to my dance packages here real quick and we'll do links. So right now, all of these are blue linked together. That means that everything is consistent. I'm not editing that, so I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to drop my image in. And you can see it's a consistent crop. If I zoom in, I'm just using the scroll bar on my mouse and then clicking and dragging the image to where I want to position it. You can see that it's a similar crop for everything. You can also click on the image if you don't have a scroll on your mouse to use the zoom tool and be able to place your image. Now if I unlink those, I gotta turn my package option on, if I unlink something you'll see that the link goes gray the rest are blue because the ones that are blue are all, all linked together. The gray is not. So if I drag an image in, you can see that since my 8x10 wasn't linked to the rest, that it only populates in that particular image node. If I drag my image in here, you can see it populates in all three of those linked ones and I can zoom into whatever I seem to like. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to go ahead and remove that and show you how to turn it back on. You can click the blue link here, or the links to turn them blue. And now when I drag an image in, it populates in all. If I click and zoom in, you see that it populates in all the same way. So that is what that option is. Now, one other option that we're going to go with is the options here. If you click on this checkbox, the one that we're going to talk about is auto rotate. I have mine selected. This will automatically rotate your images. So right now, if I drag in this image, it is what it is, horizontal or a vertical and a vertical template. I've also got a horizontal image. Let me turn my option off here so I can show you what that automatically does. If I drag in my horizontal image, it's going to rotate that image clockwise. On the home screen, you can also choose to auto-rotate counterclockwise if you need to. But what I'm going to do is auto-rotate the print size, not the image, so I don't have to turn my head. What that means is I'm going to drop in this horizontal image. Now you see the template has rotated. So that is what that feature is for. And if you are trying to add to order and you're not seeing it, chances are you need to turn that option off. So if you click that, you'll be able to add to order. That's packages in a nutshell, so if you have any questions, just give us a call here at 1-800-728-2722.